the Nipmuc, whose name derived from the Algonquin word Nipmog, meaning freshwater fishing place, were found in 1614 when Dutch sources mentioned trading with them in Connecticut. They inhabited the central plateau of Massachusetts, extending into northeastern Connecticut, where Killingly is located, and inhabited heavy woody areas and fields all over. One thing about the Nipmuc is they were known to go on long hikes through the woods. These hikes could be because they were traveling to new lands to build new villages. They were known to switch areas quite often, but never did they leave their main territory of Massachusetts and Northeast Connecticut. Nipmucks hunted on occasion with handmade tools that were quite efficient, as you see here. There were about 10,000 Nipmucks. They spoke the language of Loop, which was probably much related to the languages of other New England Algonquin tribes. A Nipmuck's life would never leave their small village. That's what they enjoyed and where they wanted to be. A daily life for them would be waking up, eating a fresh picked breakfast and doing work around the tribe, like hunting for deer. They also liked to fish, as most Native Americans did. The Nipmucks lived along rivers and their shores, like here at the Quinnebog River in Pomfret, Connecticut. This is because it provided them with food, transportation, water, and hunting of animals. Although they enjoyed hunting and fishing, the Nipmuc were known as a harvesting tribe. They harvested corn, squash, beans, nuts, and fruit. Another form of consumption that the Nipmucs highly relied on were fresh picked berries. These berries were incorporated in every meal and were used for so many things that were important to the tribe. Even with the Nipmuc's lack of political organization, they were as sophisticated as any other existing tribe. They refused to live without peace and wellness. The Nipmuc Indians were sort of an unknown but unique civilization. They left behind many remains that can still be seen today. Travel anywhere in eastern Connecticut, along its rivers and banks, and you will see the same land that these Native Americans inhabited. You may even find some artifacts and treasures that were left behind by the Nipmucks themselves to this day. <laughs> 